Hello, my name is Vinay Gupta and I would be helping you to access your newly purchased self-paced course or a web-based training course. When you purchase the course, you would have received an email like shown on the screen, which would give you a unique code, which is for your course only. And that code can be applied only once per person. It could be possible that the code was generated for a company where there are multiple people that code can be applied that many times. So if your company purchased, let us say five courses, this code can be applied five times. But normally for a single person, this code would be a single use code. And the code would be given in the middle of the email where you see it, it's a long code. But before you can use this code, you would need to go to IBM site, which is online digital learning.com. So that is the site where you would be able to use this code. Once you go to online digital learning.com, IBM will present you with a login screen because you need to have an IBM ID in order to be able to access your course. If you already have an IBM ID, you can log in with that IBM ID and attach the code. But in case you are purchasing the course for the first time, you would need to create an IBM ID. So for creating the IBM ID, click on create an IBM ID link. Here you will provide the email address which you want to use to access your code. So we provide the email address, first name, and you would be needed to create a password. There is minimum requirement for the password, eight characters minimum, one uppercase character, one lowercase character, and at least one number. Then click on continue. Here you can provide your privacy accesses if you want. You can click on proceed after you have made sure that all the privacy settings are to your liking. Once your IBM ID is created, you should get an email on your email address which you gave and that will be a two-factor authentication. You will provide that seven-digit code which you receive in your email. Click on verify. So in this privacy policy, and you need to type I agree in all capitals. After that, you're logged in to IBM site online digital learning.com and there you will apply your course code. If you already have your IBM ID, you will log in with that IBM ID. So whether you created your IBM ID or you logged in with your existing IBM ID, you would come to the page where you will see your enrollments. And right now we see that there are no current enrollments. So we will click on apply access code and then we will be able to apply the access code which we received in the email. Click on apply access code and then paste the access code which you copied from your email and click apply. You get a message which says that you have 30 days to complete this course. Once you apply your code, then the clock starts ticking. You can apply the access code within one year from receiving the email. But once you apply the code, you only have 30 days to complete the course. Click yes. And you will see the course in the left side of your screen where it says my courses. It shows me the course number. If I click on the course number, then I would be taken to that course. And on that screen, I see we have got various books which are available, getting started guide, student guide, and there's a link for launching eLab. All the self-paced courses which come with the labs will have a link for starting the eLab, which is a virtual environment where you will be doing your activities. If you click on student guide, you will be able to see the student book. And that would be the same book which you will receive if you attend a classroom course. And in this book, you will be able to see all the exercises, all the course material, and you can follow that book just like you would follow in the classroom class. So you will read the book and then we'll come to the activities. Once you come to an activity, you will be then doing an activity in the virtual lab. You can download this book. So on the top of the book window, you will see an option to download. If you want to keep that PDF with you, 
You can download and save it or every time you come to the course, you can access it online. Downloading book with book will remain with you even after the course has been completed. Let us just launch the eLab. If you click on launch eLab, that eLab would start in a new window where you'll be able to go to the virtual lab. So the lab opens in a new window, which will be a virtual environment, which is spawned for you. That virtual environment is yours for the duration of the course and it is attached to your email address. To access the lab, you would need to log in with your IBM ID every time you want to come back to the course. For the duration of 30 days, you can work every day, come back, log out, log back in again, and then keep accessing your course till you are able to finish all the activities and exercises in the course. Once your lab has been provisioned, you will see that the lab environment is now running. It might take quite some time before the lab can uh, be provisioned and started for you. In case you face any problems uh, for initial starting of the lab, you will need to contact IBM customer service to make sure that your lab is started. So once the lab has been started, then you can click inside the computer icon to access the lab. Based on your course, you might have one VM or more than one VM based on the requirements of the course. Once you click on the computer icon, it will take you to the IBM lab environment. And if you see any black bar at the bottom with any message, click on that to dismiss the message. So you are able to see the lab environment. And from there onward, you will start following the book. And in the book, if the book directs you to see some services which might have been started, so you would need to make sure that those services have been started. So in, the, in this book, it does tell you which services needed to be started. So make sure all these services are started, especially the IBM Cogna service in this course. Once all the services are started, you can start following the exercise guide. And mostly to log into the environment, the username and password would be given in the book itself. Consult your book to log in with proper user ID. So in this training, we will start with Internet Explorer. I would just follow some steps to carry on, not the whole course. So it says that start Internet Explorer in the lab and log in as Breton F and Education 1. So if I start Internet Explorer, it will bring up a dialog to log into the environment. So there I would log in with the user ID given in the book. And from there on, you will follow the directions in the book to complete your exercises. Once you are done for the day, because the course might last as the course accesses for 30 days, every day make sure that you suspend your lab because on the top of the lab you will see the time left. Right now it is showing me 167 hours. The labs are given for 168 hours. And as you keep working, this time will keep reducing. That should tell you when your lab is likely to expire. And also you see on the top right hand side, the expiry date. Right now it is showing me January 17, 2020. So my course is available to me till January 17, 2020. Now these two are independent. My course might still be available, but my lab might expire or my course might expire and the lab may still be available. So it is your responsibility to make sure that you utilize the resources available to you in a meaningful way. So once you're done with the day, always remember to suspend your lab. So for suspending the lab, in the black bar on the top of the lab, there is a second icon which says suspend this VM. Click on that every day after the work is done because that would stop the timer. So once I click on suspend, you would notice that the timer has stopped where it was. So that way you can conserve your time in the lab and be able to complete the course in a meaningful way. Keep following the book and in case of any problems with the book or anything, you need to contact the customer service of Tech Data or IBM as the case may be. At the start of the course, make sure you check the course overview to look at what is included in the course and how to go about the course, what are the topics of the course. And once you have done that, also make sure that you click on course instructions, which will give you the instructions of launching the lab, etc. And you look at any help which is required. You want to go to the provider through which you took this course. And when you click next, then you will be able to see the getting started guide that also give you instructions about how to launch the course, how to launch the lab, etc. Then you can access the student guide, which was also available from the course 
starting page. Once you're done with all the activities, you do need to mark the course complete. So if you click on course completion at the wrap up section of the course, that will let you mark your course complete. And once you're at the course completion, you have got a link course survey and certificate. If you click on course survey and click on answer the questions, it would give you a short survey which you want to give. So here on the scale of zero to 10, would you recommend this course? Let us say I click on nine and then you will give some feedback or some comments here. And then you will also rate the content, course length and pace. And overall how satisfied you are with the content and then any comments which you would like to provide, you will give those comments and also need to give the country of residence and you click on submit questionnaire. Then you will be able to get your certificate. So once you have completed the course survey, you click on get your certificate, then you will be able to see the course completion certificate, which can be downloaded. It's in a PDF format and that will be your course completion certificate. So every course, you should be able to submit a survey and then get the course completion certificate.